Okay, I don't even know why I'm bothering, but here we go. What's good, YouTube? SSB Gokai here, and today, guys, we're here for a showcase of one of the new units that came out. Now, I'm not going to do another showcase till the other unit is obtained through the logins, which you'll see here in a second. Up oh, there, yeah, there it is. It's like. I think it's like, ten, is it 10 days that we have to log? No, 7 days, right? I don't know why I'm thinking it's 10 days. Yeah, it's, it's 7 days that you log in and you're able to obtain, uh, uh, what's his face, uh, Bellion. So, 6 Knights of Black, Bellion. Honestly, I thought they would just make... A Latte and Bellion, like free to play units, and then they would release other units. Like, I like guys, just to let you guys know, I don't play JP and I don't go looking up videos on JP for like units that come out in the future. Like, the one thing that I've heard about that it does come that is coming out eventually for global is the one Escanor, which we all kind of knew was eventually gonna come to the game it's inevitable but uh as far as this banner goes it's hot garbage i mean there are some units that could be worth getting just to get them but it's like yeah only thing that's actually worth it is a latte and belly on that's Oh, like, that, that really is it. I'm sorry, but it's just, like, no one's going to go for every, anything else. I'm not, you know, besides that Gother, that Gother, like, that green Gother is, like, pretty fucking good. Like, that Gother is pretty fucking good, but everything else is not as good. I'm pretty sure that Demon Melly is, like, or was good, um... At the time, but you know, he kind of got kicked out of the meta. But, anyways, <sighs> yeah, the collaboration banner is out. I already did like a couple of summons, and I got absolutely nothing from that. Oh, and go, you guys should go look into the SR coin shop. I did use the SR coins to get the other two cosmetics and stuff the like the cosmetic and the weapon for this unit which is Halloween Guardian Gila which you can get her weapon and her cosmetic which honestly all it does is unlock this and this is basically useless because the Halloween event is not out right now maybe when they bring it back in next Halloween it'll be out Again, I don't know, but it's just like, it's kind of useless at this point. Yeah. But, you know, just, just to get it, you know, there is that option. And did they add um, Gloxenia? I don't think they added Gloxenia yet to the coin shop. No. No, they didn't. But... Oh my god, dude, and I spent the coins on Melascula. And they finally got this freaking Estorosa out. Mm. And I actually need that. But my opinion, if you guys have seen the last stream, which go check it out if you have not already. It's uploaded on my YouTube channel, uh, which you're going to see trash talkers and stuff like that. And someone who... Supported the channel, but also dissed me for not editing my streams and, you know, how me and my friends play when we're just, like, messing around and we're having fun. Stuff like that. I'm not gonna get into it. You guys are gonna see it. Like, maybe I'll, like, kind of, like, go back over it in, like, a future video. But, basically, that guy got upset because we, we were just having fun and just double teamed and it sounded like he was having fun too but then he took it a bit too seriously so anyways as you guys know we do get Bellion for the uh, 
logins, which when you log in for seven days, you automatically get the unit. Jesus, um, dude. And for this, oh, oh we got to get from the dev team. Um, if I'm pretty sure in one of these you get diamonds. I think it's this one. And okay, yeah, and you get more uh, diamonds, the evolution pendant, and the stamina recovery potions from here as well. So go check those out and try to get those. We got a gift from the dev team. Huh? What? What? What are you? Wh why are you giving me this? Huh? I am confused as of why you. I'm not complaining if you're giving me free currency, but it's like, bro. Like, I can definitely use this whenever I get enough to... Hmm. I kind of want... I kind of just want the outfits. But I also want to get all the other stuff. But I'm, I don't want to grind on this event. Okay, video cut off. I don't know where it cut off at. But, anyways. Apparently we got coins from the dev team. Where, um, we have the option to buy some stuff. Which, honestly, I'm more inclined to buy the outfits, if anything else. But I'm not too interested in the weapons and the cosmetics, which... Uh, I could just get those just to get them, but it's like... I kind of just want to get the outfits. Yeah, like, that's, that's it. But if I can, then maybe I'll grind it up to get the uh, weapons and the cosmetics and stuff like that. Uh, I'm just like, it's just, I'm not too interested in it. Anyways guys, I'm taking forever just going through some of the stuff that they uh, just came out with. Let's go ahead and do this showcase. Alright, so let's go ahead and look. Well, we can look at her kit when we uh, do the preview stuff. Alright, let's look at her unique. Uh, increases allies' crit damage by 5% per hero skill use. Limit 10 times. That's pretty useful. That is pretty, pretty useful, dude. Can definitely use those. Alright, so... And I do have her... Uh, like, not fully maxed out because obviously there's a limit break system, which is so stupid. Limit break system honestly should not exist. I understand doing it for the, like, one time, but it's like, I don't want to sit here and grind and grind and grind just to get only, like, a couple of characters done. Alright, so, as you guys can see, uh, that is the UR, um... The UR outfit, which honestly looks pretty, uh, pretty cool, pretty, uh, you know, pretty thick, I guess you can say. And then there's the SSR outfit, which honestly, um, you know, I guess I kind of like it, you know. And then there's the cleaning fairy outfit. That looks more like a maid outfit, if anything. And... I kind of like this one just because it looks like that warrior princess style it looks kind of badass. And then there's this one, which is, I think it is from the movie, where she wears the, uh, the formal dress for, like, the ceremony and stuff like that. So let's look at the weapons. We've got the celestial sword. I honestly thought she would have, like, the wing sword. Because she does use that in the movie. I'm pretty sure she does. But I guess they decided not to do that. Cleaning Fairy's Feather. That's basically just a duster thingy, I, I guess. And they, the Sword of the Azure, Azure um, Determination. It's basically just different kind of sword 
which I think she I think she's holding it backwards or something because I'm pretty sure the pointy side is supposed to point up like the curved part is just pointing like where it's curved in is pointing down which I think it should be curved like it should be pointed up instead of down and then finally we got a sacred feather which <laughs> oh my god dude how are you gonna do damage with a friggin feather it's the same thing with this one I mean honestly you could just hit someone up the head like up their uh, head with it but it's like what kind of actual damage are you doing with it anyways let like bruh Alright, so we got the, obviously that's the regular SSR uh, hairstyle. The headband for the little ma maid cleaner outfit or whatever. And then we got a little Halo uh, style cosmetic here, which you can get from Hero Affinity. So if you like this, all you have to do is just grind up on that Affinity. So, or you can just buy the Affinity um, whatchamacallits, and just boost her up like that, but honestly, I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, Blue Resolve Headdress, uh, that is for the, uh, it is for, the, mm, I think, yeah, this one. So, that looks pretty cool. Uh, like I said, it, it just has that, like, bl like, that warrior princess, uh, vibe to it, so, pretty, pretty dope. And then finally we get the Celestial Headband, which is the what goes with the formal dress, I do believe. And that's basically it as far as her uh, outfits go. Other than that, there's not really much to it. And her, her race is Goddess, which I'm surprised they didn't just, just decide to make it like a separate race. Because, you know, Celestials aren't exactly Goddesses, they're... Like, they're more or less just, like, demi-goddesses, you know? If you want to get technical, I'm pretty sure they're not 100% of the goddess race. But they are derived from the goddess race. But, I don't know. I could have, like, they could have just made it to where uh, uh, the Celestials would just have their own race, but... You know, I guess they decided not to do that. Uh, her age is unknown. It's probably, like, honestly, how long do Celestials live? That's the question. How long do they live? I would have to guess that maybe she's, like, around the age of Elizabeth, you know, in Elizabeth's current body. Maybe, like, I think it's 18, if I'm not mistaken. Um... I mean, let me go check. Okay, no. Elizabeth is 16. But, a latte does look older. So, I would have to guess she's like around between 17 and 19. So, either 17, 18, or 19. Around that range of uh, what her age is. Because she looks a little older than Elizabeth, but not that old. But uh, her birthday is on 521. Height is uh, 162 centimeters. I'm not even going to calculate that in inches because I'm too lazy to do that. And it's like really early in the morning. Weight is unknown. I would have to guess that it would be unknown because she's flying. Uh, blood type A and CV Haruka Tomasu. I would show the uh, artwork and the voice lines, but it's like I didn't grind up all that affinity yet. So, yeah. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into the... Uh, the move sets and stuff and then we're gonna close out the video and just be done with it and you know I got my video for the day there we go I'm sorry guys I I'm, I'm just feeling kind of lazy today and I just want to get this video ready to edit render 
upload, and then schedule. Alright, so let's check this out. Flex detonate damage equal to 160% of the attack on one enemy. Flex detonate damage equal to 241% of attack on one enemy. Detonate damage equal to 400% of attack on one enemy. So, Anger Light. I think this is pretty much like Arc, but it's just a different name. Inflicts damage equal to 180% of attack on one enemy. Decreases crit damage and crit defense by 30% for one turn. Alright, 250% attack by 40% for one turn. 450% of attack to one enemy, uh, decreases crit resistance, crit defense by 50% for two turns. Nice. And then, removes debuffs from all allies, grants debuff immunity, and increases defense related stats by 100% for four turns. Wow, that is pretty OP. So let's go ahead and check out her animations and stuff. Oh, I didn't even read the bottom part. Detonate 20% additional damage per orb in the target's ultimate move gauge. Oh, nice. And it's the uh, same for all of them. Uh, I don't have any on these, though, so we're good. Alright. Nice. I swear, that's, that's meant to be arc. But I guess they, they just decided not to do that. And this is pretty much just a support ultimate move, so it's not an attacking move, it's just for support, as you guys saw from the uh, description of it. That animation is pretty nice, though. Shame I can't look at her uh, stats on this, that's a real shame, but... I'm not even going to. I'm just going to assume that her defense is at a decent spot. I didn't even look at her like her base defense. It's probably like around 3,000, I would want to say. I would have to say around... Excuse me. I would have to say around 3,000. Yeah, it's at around 3,000, so if it's boosted by 100%, so you're getting an extra 2,700 to it, so that's pretty much almost 6,000 defense right there, if I'm not mistaken. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that should put her at, like, almost 6,000, 5,500 defense right there. Uh, but I'm pretty sure when she, uh, when you boost her up to, like, level 80, her, uh, stats are gonna be higher, but I just don't feel like it, because it's too much of a grind, guys. I'm not gonna sit there and waste my time with that. It's just, it's not worth the grind, it's not worth the headache, and it's not worth the pain. So, anyways, that is the showcase, guys. I do apologize if you if you guys were expecting more from this, but I'm tired and I don't feel like trying to risk running this unit when I don't even like know like what kind of team I could put her on. Not to mention, I just got this unit. Like I literally just got it for free, and I don't even have her with a like a decent amount of a. Uh, like, coins fed in. Which, honestly, I don't think it really matters, because all it really is... Alright. Alright, the video cut off again, uh, right as I'm about to end it. But, like I said, guys, it's, like, if you get her 6-6, it's probably gonna be, like, 150%. Because that sounds like it's more accurate. 
if I'm not mistaken. If you guys managed to six fix her, do let me know if that is correct. If it is 200%, then I'm like, oof, that's, uh, hmm, that's, uh, broken. But if not, then it's like, it's, it's decent, you know, it's kind of like the same situation when it comes to the free-to-play Hawk, but it's like, Hawk's gonna get nerfed at the end of the month, which is very unfortunate, but what can you do? They honestly don't want to let you have any OP units for PvE, so it's like, mm, unfortunate, <laughs> unfortunate. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna end the video here. Hope you guys found this showcase uh, informative or enjoyable or whatever. Uh, do make sure to leave a like down below and make sure to subscribe as well if you guys want to see more videos like this. Um, these showcases are literally just going to be this right here. It's literally all it is. It's just me showing the animations, the moves, the kit, the outfits, all that. And that, that's literally all it is. So if you want to see more of that, then let me know. But I'm more than likely to do more anyway. So, anyways, hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace. Now I'm going to sleep. <laughs>